and this right here this hold on <laughs> we need to take a moment I have financial goals I don't need Beyonce taking all my coins just whenever she wants to take them like I need to, we need to have boundaries you can have this amount of coins but you can't have them all right I'll be jumping off the stage hope jump away crowd better save her. hello hello welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Kenya also known as the curl coach and today the hair is looking good but we're talking clothes okay pose purr <laughs> I am OD hype because I have a few items from the Icy Park drop and let me tell y'all I think Vernon and I spent about the same amount that we spent on all the drops but we got way less stuff but somehow this is my favorite drop and I'm going to show you why in this video. So if you're interested, make sure you keep on watching, subscribe, like, comment. So the first thing that I have on is the semi Barbie fit. We got the pink long sleeve top with the thumb holes that actually fits. Okay, so I have really long arms. I'm pretty tall. And whenever Beyonce has these little thumb hole things, they don't work for me it's always super tight on my arms but with this one it actually works and I'm very excited about that this top is unique and completely worth the money because it's a convertible top so if you poop 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 boom <laughs> it snaps off into a crop top I'll show you guys what it looks like in the back then you just shimmy out of this boom a whole new outfit and this was one of the first things that I saw in the promo where I was like okay yes I'm getting this because the whole vibe of just oh the look of it was like girl yes okay and I'm very happy to say that this is actually something that I could really see myself working out in like it's cute and it's comfortable but it also like moves how you want sport athleisure wear to move and just to make it easier on you all my size in Ivy Park is pretty much a large in almost everything that's my size in normal clothing and at first I was a little confused I thought I was like a large and a medium in some things but anything that I have a medium that's Ivy Park it's like uncomfortable after a certain amount of hours so it may look good but it doesn't feel good so I got these leggings in a large and I was really afraid that they were gonna be way too big because something I've noticed is like in the waist the large is just just a little bit too loose for me but the medium is way too tight so I'm kind of like in between the sizes but this actually fits well this is probably one of the better fitting leggings that I have from her in a large but it does tend to like ride down over time so I'm constantly like pulling it up and I can still see that it will be very comfortable to work out in it just would require a lot of pulling up over time but this is the full Barbie fit so let me actually give y'all a little bit more convertible action you can also snap the buttons on the top to give like a little peekaboo a little oh hi <laughs> hello how are you meet my cleavage or uh, what I would like to be my cleavage. There we go. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> you are not about to sit in here while I film. All right, so I'm in my second outfit, um, thanks to the help of Vernon. Not in here. <laughs> Come closer. No. Thanks to the help of Vernon. This is 100% a two-person job getting into this cat suit, just like the one from Black Pack. And I got this in a large because I have my black cat suit in a medium. And when I tell you it's suffocating, I wore this to dinner right after filming my last haul video and I could barely, I could barely move honestly after eating my food. So I went up a size and I'm very happy that I did. I think it fits a lot more seamlessly without a lot of bulging like in the arms and around the straps. When it comes to this cat suit, the question in my mind always when I'm buying it is like, where am I wearing this? Like, where am I wearing a full blown cat suit? You know, I mean, yes, it looks cute, but where am I going? <laughs> 
So I really feel like it's good that I have the black one and the white one and that way I can kind of like intermingle them maybe with like a leather jacket or a blazer and some heels. Like I'm really going to have to style it up. And, and, and this right here, this right here, this right here, <laughs> I can't just not say that. Something I was not even going to purchase. God was looking out for me when I found this coat online. This, hold on, <laughs> we need to take a moment. Okay, this is hot. Okay, y'all, for real. I was not planning on getting this coat. I was not. I was not. I actually saw it the first time Gucci had it on in the promo. It was hitting the ground. And I was like, ooh, that looks like Kenya. Like, I'm very here for long jackets, kimonos, dusters. Oh, this feels so soft. <laughs> I'm here for it, right? And to me online, it didn't look substantial at all. It looked more like a cardigan it didn't look like it was thick this is thick this is 100 a pea coat it's a fur coat like this is not a coat to be played around with honestly i can't even wear it too long <laughs> it's a little hot up in here i wasn't planning on getting it i wanted to get the brown puffer jacket only honestly because it went all the way to the ground it was very unique i didn't like how metallic it was that was the only thing i didn't like about it it was a little bit too shiny i wanted it to be more like matte so that way i could wear it more often but i really wanted to get it anyway and i tried to get it and adidas played the hell out of me because they sent me a confirmation on the app telling me that i bought it and then i never got an email confirmation and then they just rejected my order like i was like huh what happened <laughs> What happened to my clothes? So I had to go back. Everything I ordered was rejected on Adidas.com. I had to go back the next day after the drop and get it from other retailers online. And I found this. And I was like, oh, nobody has copped this in a medium, by the way, because it's a gender neutral item. So I always go down one size for the gender neutral items unless it looks super duper big. And then I go down two sizes. But this one, I wanted it to have some bag because I mean, it's a fur coat. You don't want that to be like tight against you. You want to have some room to grow, some room to layer, you know, maybe one day I'm a little bit bigger and I still want to wear it and I can't. Honestly, because I didn't get the puffer jacket, I just had space in my budget to get this. And then I found it and then I was like, why the hell not click <laughs> and then boom here we are so i'm really happy that i got it i'm glad i was going to just return it if i didn't like it but no this is fire this is really everything i love it a lot and i probably wouldn't wear it with this jumpsuit i see it more with like a turtle like a mock turtleneck kind of like clingy white bodysuit with some heels i think that would be so cute literally anything you could wear with this just wear it baby wear it to brunch you know just wear it, girl. Take some pictures. Do your thing in it. This was a piece where I saw it and I was like, yes, 100%. I'm getting this no matter what. And I'm so glad, so glad that I did. This is something I have. I don't own anything like this, but it just makes me feel so confident. It makes me feel so feminine. Like the high cut on it is everything the smooth buttery latex on it like just the simplicity but the sensual and sexualness the energy of it is everything and then the price i believe this was like 69 or 75 dollars and it's beautiful i really love the latex bodysuit i have it in a large i was kind of afraid that it would be a little bit too short in the torso that's something that i noticed about bodysuits but this fits really well it is a thong bottom so the cheeks are out <laughs> back here you know these latex pants actually aren't that hard to put on they're just awkward <laughs> to put on and awkwardly um designed in my opinion just for my body type, I know maybe it works for other people, but for me, it's a little awkward. It looks cute. Why does it look cute? <laughs> Why does it look cute? I am so confused. Let me tell y'all something. I am so confused by this outfit. Like I look at it in the mirror and I hate it. And then I'm looking at it right now in the full length video and I'm like, oh, this is actually kind of cute. 
Vernon might have been right again. <laughs> we have been debating about me returning these pants for ever since I got them. So probably like two weeks now. Um, this is what I don't like about them. This little air pocket thing is not cute. Okay. Like if I go like this, oh, it doesn't look that bad. I guess the shininess of the latex, at least on the full screen, makes it look better. This actually is kind of cute. Wow. <laughs> I feel like in my mind, yo, I was returning these pants today. Like after this video, I was ready to go ahead and return them. Like, cause I just didn't like how they looked. And now I'm confused. Y'all let me know in the comments what I should do. I got some time. So if you think I should return them, then I'll return them. But if y'all think it looks good, tell me. Okay. But anyway, these are the brown latex pants. I got them in a large. I can easily get into them and out of them. There's like this suede material inside the pants so it's not just latex on skin because um, that's really hard <laughs> to take off, especially after you start sweating. Like you have to have no moisture to get latex off of your skin. My booty looks good. Oh, girl. My butt looks good in these, hey. I think, I think I actually might keep them. After looking at them in the full length video, Vernon is going to be so, oh, I have woken him up out of his sleep to ask him, do you think I should take them back? What do you think, baby? Let me put them on. Let me model them real quick. Do you like it? And he's like, yes. Oh my God, please. <laughs> Something I didn't like about these pants is when I first got them, I was putting them on and I kind of pulled them up by the belt loop and one of the belt loops popped and I was like, huh? Where do they do that at? These pants are $120. So in comparison to the latex bodysuit, I feel like this just feels better. Even though this is the same material, it's just something about like the construction of like the pant that makes me feel a little less secure and the quality of it. It's not as obvious as all the other Ivy Park pieces. It's not like the quality that I'm used to. Granted, looking at it on, it doesn't look bad, but it kind of just feels bad. Um, I just wish it felt a little bit more sturdy, basically is what I'm saying. I wish it fit better. I wish it was more seamless on my body without so many wrinkles. But, I mean, they're latex pants. I've never owned latex pants, so maybe this is kind of good for latex pants. I don't know. I'm just going to pop this jacket on real quick just so we can see how it all comes together. No, I didn't get my hair caught in the zipper. Lord. <clears throat> Hey baby, I got my hair caught in a zipper. Oh jeez. I know. Can you help? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go downstairs. Okay. Oh wait, never mind. I got it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. All right, babe. Bye. All right, crisis averted. Oh no. So yeah, another thing about these clothes that I've noticed is like the strings kind of pop out the seams and I don't like that. I really don't, especially on one of these coats that were like almost $200 and there's just so many strings that I have to cut on it. So I just wanted to put this on so we could see the whole fit together. Not saying I will wear this, you know, Oh, or maybe I would cause now I just saw it in the mirror and it looks kind of cute. Here is the fit that I was kind of planning um, to go with these pants. This is kind of, this is cute. This is cute, right? <laughs> I think this is cute. So I have the white latex pants on. And again, same thing, like this bubble of just air, like it's so weird. And then the low crotch is just strange to me. But all together, I think it does actually look kind of good. I don't know if the brown pants look better or if the white pants look better. Not sure. You tell me. All right, so we're back with the couple's fits. And right now we're both rocking the monogram. So yes. I'm gonna let my baby go first. Go ahead. Well, I'm rocking the whole track suit. I mean, y'all saw the picture. This junk was fire. So I had to do what I had to do, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love hearing you talk about video. Okay, so I have the brown monogram print, and this is an item that I wasn't necessarily thinking I was gonna pick up initially, but then over time, after seeing a bunch of people post their own hauls and seeing pictures, I was like, okay, yes, I do need this crop jacket in my life. 
which he told me from jump to get, and I didn't. So let me tell y'all, okay? Go. Oh, no, you go ahead. Oh, okay. 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 Right. Okay. 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 So my thing is like, okay, I have financial goals. I don't need Beyonce taking all my coins just whenever she wants to take them. Like, I need to, we need to have boundaries. You can have this amount of coins, but you can't have them all, right? Uh. So, I had a budget of what we both were going to spend because we both buy stuff. So, that's another thing, too. That's why the price gets so high because we're buying for two people. And so, I had a budget. And we stayed within the budget within the first couple of days of the drop. We it was it was very reasonable. I, I was enjoying the prices that I was seeing. Mm -hmm. And then as more pictures came out and more videos came out, I was like, dang, I need this. Dang, I need that. And by the end of it, we paid so much in extra shipping because we kept making just one off yeah. orders. Yeah. <laughs> so moral of the story is just get what you want from the jump, honestly. And guess who told her that? He told me almost everything that I have now, he told me to get from the beginning. But I was like, no, I don't want it. I don't need it. Oh, and yeah. It she actually, got it. It ended up costing us more, me not getting it from the, the jump. That's why the next time <laughs> when you see her in some more Ivy Park stuff, it's going to be from me. So we decided that he's just going to pick everything from the next drop because I'd be trying to cut the list down. Yes. He's just going to pick everything and I'm just going to have to there's literally, deal with it. There's literally like three things that we just couldn't get. That I originally told her to get. Yeah, and if I had just gotten them, I would have had them. Like the monogram zip pants, I missed out on those because I kept telling myself I didn't need them. But honestly, those are like one of my favorite items from this drop. So if you got a large monogram zip and you're trying to sell it, let us know. Okay? Or if you're trying to donate it, I'm just saying. <laughs> but okay, so I got this crop jacket because it just looks so good with the skirt. And I did get the skirt originally just because it was a nice little price, 85 for a cute, unique little skirt. I do have the triangle bra because my feelings about the other Ivy Park bras is that they give too much support. I'm in the small titty club. I don't need no support. Honestly, I would not wear a bra almost everywhere if I could. So this is very soft. The only thing that's kind of tight is the band, but you get used to it. It's not too terrible. It has a tee back, which is really cute. It's like a nice little yoga bra, lounging around the house bra, but it also goes with this fit really well. And then I have it paired with the Super Sleeks, the Creeper Super Sleeks, which I'm so, so happy that she dropped. I saw like a lot of people weren't picking these up, but I think this is like one of the classic items of the drop. I've been wanting Creeper sneakers for a while. I just haven't made the plunge. And these are my favorite Super Sleeks to date. Honestly, this whole line is my favorite to date just because the items are so fashion. They're so style. They're so unique. Like, where are you seeing this right now? Like, where else are you getting this from except for Ivy Park? Nowhere. Seriously. I did also pick up this denim jacket. By the way, this is denim material. I don't even know if I told y'all that. <laughs> it's denim material, but it's monogrammed with the Ivy Park. This logo is so sick because it's like, when you first see it, you just know it's Ivy Park, but you don't know how you know. It's like, where where is it telling me? You know, it's an optical illusion and I love it. I love that. This is a gender neutral item. I got it in a medium. This skirt is in a large, this bra is in a large, and my crop jacket, which is in a women's size, is also in a large. So I sized one size down for my gender neutral item, and I really like this. This is like on my initial list. I knew I wanted this just because it's such a unique coat. I feel, and y'all, it's so warm, okay? It is very warm. It's lined with this teddy fur material, which you actually could wear it inside out and wear it as like an all furry jacket. I felt like that since the first time I saw it in the promo. I was like, is that not reversible? And it's not, but you could still wear it that way. Like, you know, the quality is worth it. The structure of the jacket is great. It looks great. I love it. So we're coming here with the last fit which is this teddy jacket. The one that I was saying was like $200 and it had a bunch of strings on it, which, you know, I'm gonna cut it off cause I like this jacket, but I wish it didn't have the strings, you know. Babe, what you think about this fit? You already know how I'm feeling about it. I'm feeling my damn self right now. Look at <laughs> <laughs> I can't even see you. Good. Yo, you're like blending Good. <laughs> Okay, so you have this in what, an extra large? Yes, yeah, extra large. This is a medium, y'all. This is so big. It fits because like that's the look, like the really oversized gender neutral look. But I really could have got a small. I'm not going to because I feel like the fit on the hands is like, I like how it comes like to your 
knuckles almost. But this, this is very, very big. And it's crazy how yours goes to your knuckles and mine's literally still just goes to my wrist. Oh, it like, does? Yeah, it looks. Oh, okay. It has zippered pockets on the side, like almost everything. Oh, the inside is all fleecy. This is a warm jacket. Yo, this thing has so many contraptions. So it has this little like thing you can pull to make the fit tighter at the bottom. It has hidden pockets. It's got this Ivy Park logo coming up. And then we didn't even talk about the pants. We talked about this jacket so much. Yeah. I have. I mean, we're in love with the jacket. Right, that's yeah. We, we That's why we both have it. I have the blue nylon track pants. Vernon put this fit together. I was already thinking about it, though. But he put the fit together, and I love it. It's, it's a look. I like Always it a lot. Always trying to take some of the credit. I thought about it. I got it for it. That's it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, baby, what you got on? So I got the teddy shorts as well. Up underneath, I already got the white shirt. Yeah. But yeah, man, I'm styling right now. So we also got this Sherpa belt bag. I completely forgot to show it to y'all, so I'm just going to put it in like a long shot. Um, This is Vernon's. I'm not even going to take any credit for it. This was something I was like, why the heck do we need this? But now that it's here, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, that's cute. I like it. I like it. So um, it's like a little fanny pack and it's really cute. You can wear it as a shoulder strap, like around your body. You can wear it as a fanny pack. It's, it's a cute little bag. You can even wear it as a purse, you know, if you really wanted to. Definitely worth the money, very well made. But that completes our Ivy Park haul. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Let me know if you wanna see when Vernon picks my outfits in the next Ivy Park drop. And also let me know down below what was your favorite outfit. And if I need to return those latex pants, please let me know. Please, please. <laughs> I told them I'll be waking you up to ask you if I should keep them or not. <laughs> but all right, y'all, see you later, bye. Spend my money fast and go fast, fast, go fast like a Lambo. Skew, skew, skew. I be jumping off the stage. Hope jump away. Crowd better save her. Crowd going hurt. I can't believe we made it. Okay, this is hot.